People deluded, I'm back again. I hope you're all doing well and safe. Arsenal 2, Crawley Town 1. You know, we've got two wins from two, I believe, in the group stages of the EFL Trophy. We firmly sit top of our group and we've set ourselves up very well for our final game against Gillingham in this group stage. And, you know, again, I don't know for the rules and whatnot, but if there is any way of getting past the rules and whatnot in relation to lone players, it sets up an interesting clash because as you lot know, Zach Medley and Trey Coyle are currently at League One side Gillingham, so it'd be, I'd like to see them play against their teammates and whatnot. But yeah, man, our under-21s, well, bulk of it, you know, bulk of it is under-23s with a, a, a couple splashes of under-18s. Kiddo started, um, Marcelo Flores was on the bench. There's a couple sprinkles, but the majority of it is under-23s, but for whatever purpose, it's called under-21s. Now, you lot know me, people. I, I believe, you know, the more times these young players, whether they're 18s or 23s, can get exposed to playing against men that are physically stronger than them, more experienced and quicker up here than them, they're going to improve. You know, Arsenal's academy, in terms of results, we're not perfect. At under 23s level, apologies, we haven't started too well. Um, so it, it doesn't really make sense. But I think these are the real games that they learn from people, you know, playing against grown men, playing against people that are hungry because, you know, it's a cup game to us. It's business as usual to Crawley. Them and they are trying to, you know, stay stay in, their, stay in their contracts and make sure they stay at their club. So we're playing a good side. You know, it was a, it, you know, we played a different, a sort of different formation. I think players excelled. I do think, you know, Miguel Aziz has a lot to work on when he does get exposed to first team football. But he showed how special he was with some of his passing ranges and link up play. I'm tired of speaking about Miguel Aziz because I'm excited to see what the future has in, in store for him. Everybody can see he's a player. The same goes for Ben Cottrell as well, you know, buzzing around like a bumblebee, involved in the second goal as well. I think it was a good team performance. What I liked as well, you know, whether we... whether we, The only thing we kind of did wrong was concede a cheap goal and maybe take more chances. But I liked whether we were drawing or whatever. I liked that we were brave, you know. I was seeing them pressed very well by, by Crawley. We still kept trying to play out from the back. Players didn't just boot the ball day. Everybody rose to the occasion. I think everybody was brave in their defensive actions as well. Um, you know, Olabosu, I believe his name is, I can never pronounce it. Ryan at right back, I think he did very well in his one on one v ones against his winger. And um, I feel our left back did well. I think the midfield did well. I think Kiddo Taylor Hart in particular done very well. He started off the season very strongly, you know, and he even had a strong couple of pre-season games with the 23s, most notably against Spurs. He could not be stopped on that left-hand side. So if you've got Miguel, you've got Ben, you've got him buzzing around in a collective good performance from everyone. I feel Oli Inka and Akinola in the middle done very well as well. In particular, Akinola, I think he was, he did all right. Um, we did what we needed to do. Obviously, we had Arthur Okonku in goal. And, you know, for me, I'm happy because I think that's his first appearance in a year. Um, it's down for the club and him to say what happened. But, you know, after knowing what the story is, it's quite... It's, it's quite a miracle that he's playing football and it's a blessing, you know. First and foremost, it's a blessing that he's returned in healthy spirits. Second of all, he's able to try and have his quest to playing for Arsenal and making it. Because you've got to remember that man was talented, you know. We we had to fight to keep hold of him and give him a scholar. You know, you'd imagine with the sort of goalkeeping changes, there's a lot of keepers on our books. But if he can decipher through them, there could be an opportunity for this season even, maybe not because of the injury, to be third choice keeper. But going into the game, people, I was impressed. Sorry, let me sort out my notes, people. Like I said, first half, I think we started well. Um, McNeff had, had a good game as well. But I think literally from the first or second minute, you could see our intention. You know, Miguel Aziz was already in behind and, you know, our players could have sorted their footing out. Shortly after that, Miguel Aziz on the left-hand side dragged an effort wide, people. Um, so we were banging on the door. What I liked is that we started fast. You could see that these players wanted to play today. You could see our players fancied it. They're pinging the ball relatively well. You know, everybody's creating an option. We've started strongly. I feel in the first 10, 20 minutes, we were the stronger side I did feel even before any goals flew in though as much as I think we started positive I did I did think when, when Crawley Town got the ball they kind of cut us open a bit too easy for my liking and I think initially while they didn't cut any clear-cut chances there was enough for them to be encouraged by it and whatnot people but for me like I said I can't complain we made a good start we were brave you know we started early we were you you know Tactically, every player looked like they knew what they was doing and we was banging on the door. Obviously, eventually you need to score people and we've put a lovely team move together. If I can remember correctly, Miguel Aziz is actually the one who slips through Kiddo Taylor Hart. You know, he goes round the keeper and he, he goes for goal and Jordan McNeff takes off the line. Now, it's good that he followed in, but, you know, he stole a man's goal, really, but it is what it is. It's 1-0. 
And I think we had, I think those that watched the game, you know, you could see we had several moments where we could have scored more. And that's the age old saying, you need to, this is what they need to learn if they're going to go off to have careers at Ar Ar Arsenal or go on loan or do whatever. You've got to kill games. We're playing well, you know, we've made a good start, you know, for young lads against senior pros, they've done very well. 1 0, you know, everything's been done right. But there's a long couple, there's a, there's a lot of football to, to still be played at this time. And it's the age old saying, take your chances, you know, because how many times have we seen one team pepper the other, it stays 1 0, the other teams had no shots, you know, and they go and get something from the game by equalising. You look at the Newcastle Spurs game when VAR messed it up for them. Yeah, VAR played the part, and if it didn't do that with Dyer and the half dishes, then it wouldn't be a thing. But if Spurs took their chances, it would have been 4 5 1 and not 1 1. So these are the lessons we need to learn and we're not taking our chances and you are wondering, you know, you were banging on the door, we started positive, we're playing well, but football's a cruel game, you know, is it going to be one of those things? Because I did think when Crawley Town did go forward that you could see that they can put, they can play football, they can move it around, there was a bit lack of intensity, but... They were cutting us open. It was low-level threats, but, you know, just just the little earning of corners they did or just a couple free passes, they showed me that they have enough when they turn it on to present some issues to us. So while I think we're doing well, and like I said, people, the headlines will go to Aziz and players like that, and for me, Kilo Taylor Hart deserves it, but I really was impressed with every member of that back four, five, including Arthur. Arthur, even in the first 20 minutes, had to make a big boy save as well in goal. Um, so it's not like he was just counting grass and whatnot. But I can't complain, man. We're doing our thing. We've got one nil. We just need, we just need to take our chance, people. Really, really and truly, up. You know, Kiddo Taylor Hart on that left hand side when he links up with his ease, nobody's stopping him. That right back is being torn a new one consistently whenever he wants to get there. You know, we're enjoying it, but we need to score. Um, and yeah, man, we took us, we we took a set back. We switched off. You know, they kind of hit us against the run of play. We're switched off. Like I said, these young boys need to learn to kill the game, but they've also got to learn to see what's going on without the ball. And you could see off the ball that our players weren't aware when when Craw Crawley Town did break and they did have chances. But I think that was their first clear cut opportunity, and they scored. And that's probably the only moment I would say that we can really look to if we're going to find things to improve away from taking chances. I feel it was a cheap goal to concede, but. But what I did like is the mentality, you know, we forgave ourselves for that dumb goal, you know, it was very close to half time as well, a couple of moments or whatever, well, I think it was a 30 odd, but you get the point. Um, but we kept going, we ended the half strongly, but at the end of the day, I think we've got what we deserved, really and truly, I think we deserve to be ahead, but this is the, the, the catch-22 of when you don't take your opportunities, so in the second half, all I want to do is see them, in short, go out and do what they need to do, but... Up away from that, you know, we've created chances, you know, we haven't shied away from the physical battle against grown men. I feel every player individually has been brave. I feel collectively the whole team has been brave to try things and have a go. So I haven't really, I'm obviously individuals, it's, you know, I keep, I'm trying not to keep mentioning Miguel Aziz, but he's playing well. Like I said, several things he can improve on. But, um, you know, it's a case of when and, and not if he gets his opportunity at Arsenal and it's down to him to take it. Hopefully he gets an opportunity in the Europa and whatever and can build upon his Arsenal career. But I think everybody everybody continued how we left off in the first half, in my opinion. We were still strong. We were still out of the blocks. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything else I wanted to say, people. We kept going ultimately, people. And again, it was a lovely team move, you know. I think Akinola and, and Ryan at right back were involved initially. Obviously, the highlights are going to go to Ben Cottrell. And obviously, the goal scorer who the ball eventually fell to, Miguel Aziz. Um... You know, he gets a goal to cap off a good display from him as well. We go 2-1 ahead and it's happy days. We've, we've, we've done what I want us, wanted us to do. We've retaliated. We've got the 2-1. Now you just want to make sure it don't slip. And I did think we could have scored. I did think Crowley Town had a number of opportunities where they scared us throughout the game, especially towards the end. But all in all, we did what we needed to do. Like I said, for me, it was a near enough perfect performance. The only problem I can look at is the goal we conceded and the way we conceded it, especially off the back of kind of peppering them. But I think it was a good performance. And like I said at the start, with that, I believe that makes us go top of the table. I think that's two wins in this now. We face Gillingham. Um, we faced Gillingham after beating... We did beat Ipswich, you know. There's so much football on what you can't remember. I'm sure we beat Ipswich. George Lewis scored. And obviously, we've won the game in question. So, we've set ourselves up for a good clash against League One side Gillingham. Again, I'm not too sure on, on the rules. But if the rules do permit, then there's potential to play um, 
to face, well, potential for Arsenal's under-21s to face Trey Coyle and Zach Medley, who is some of their teammates. You know, I think every player did well as well, especially because, you know, especially for the younger ones, you know. For me, Flores was on the bench, but that's off the cap of a strong start to the season. Kiddo Taylor Hart started, but that's off the back of him being a second-year scholar, and ideally you want to get there, him staying fit, and for him at under-18s level making a difference. Um, you know, I feel the defenders, when called upon, they took their chances, especially because you look at it, especially in the middle of the park, well, middle of the um, defence, the centre-half pairing, a lot of our defenders have gone out on loan. There's opportunities to be had for Harry Clark and the rest of them um, and whatnot. So like I said, man, we did what we needed to do. 2-1, we walk away. Miguel Aziz gains more plaudits, but I feel each and every Arsenal player um, involved in the game stood up to be counted and deserves their plaudits. But what can I say, man? We we focus on, on, the, on the game um, against Gillingham in November, I believe. Um, I'm not too sure who Arsenal are facing at this level at all, better yet, on the 23s level in in, cup, in the league when we resume at the weekend and whatnot, but it is what it is. I'll be here to speak about it, but in relation to this game, like I said, Arsenal 2, Crawley Town 1, we go moving on and we keep it moving. And it's it's, it's weird because our seasons, it's it's been a... It's going to be a long season for our 23s, people. Um, I know it's the 21s, but you get the point. It's been a long season for our 23s. But in the league, I mean, in the cup, you know, that's the one sort of bright spot we can look at. So, you know, hopefully it's a season where we can win a cup or something at this level. Um, on that note, as I said before, I'm really getting out of here. It's always a pleasure, but I'm out for real. Deluded.